Tech Literacy Training Series, produced by Aloha Independent Living Hawaii, Pacific Basin Telehealth Research Center, and the University of Hawaii. Internet Overview. Presented by technical trainer, Nicole Flowers. This video is an overview of what the internet is, the difference between a home internet connection and cellular data, and how to connect to each. This video does not include how to use an internet browser. The internet is the best way to remain connected with all of your family, friends, support system, and healthcare providers. In order to access the internet, you need either a home internet connection, a cellular internet connection, or to utilize public Wi-Fi hotspots. You can find public internet connections at most libraries and some corporate locations like Starbucks or McDonald's. To get an internet connection in your home, you'll need to contact a local internet service provider. The three companies available in the state of Hawaii are Spectrum, Hawaiian Telecom, and if you live on Hawaiian homelands, your internet service provider will be Sandwich Isles. To get connected from a local internet service provider, call their sales department and provide your address. In order for an internet service provider to provide service to your home, they will require your address. An internet service provider like Spectrum or Hawaiian Telecom will bring the internet devices to your home and set up a modem and a router or a single modem and router combination. Held between Nicole's hands is a black rectangular device. It is dotted with an array of small holes on its surface with the word Netgear engraved in its center. The left face of the device has two bright yellow ports and a long metal screw-like port for cables. This is an example of a device called a combination modem router that an internet service provider would bring to your home. This device creates a Wi-Fi network, which is like a bubble over your home that provides wireless internet. Imagine this device like a tiny radio tower. The closer you are to this device, the easier it is for your device to get the wireless internet connection. The farther away from this device you are, the slower your connection will be. This is particularly true if, like many homes in Hawaii, you have walls made of concrete. Concrete and metal can often interfere with a wireless internet connection. A home internet connection is ideal for homes with more than one device, such as phones, tablets, computers, smart TVs, smart home devices like Alexa devices. If you only have one device you need connected to the internet, you may want to use a cellular connection from a company like Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile. When reaching out to a cellular company for a cellular data connection, please note that there are many plans available, including unlimited data and limited data. If you don't believe you'll use the internet all that much, try a limited data plan and contact your cellular company if you run out. If your cellular connection is experiencing issues, first try turning your device off and on again. To toggle your cellular connection, on an iPhone, Nicole opens the control center and taps a green icon with the symbol of a radio tower. You can also press this button from your control center. That turns off your cellular connection. If you are in a location where you need to disconnect all connections, including Bluetooth, Nicole taps on an airplane icon. The icon shifts to orange. She then taps on two blue icons below. The icon with the sideways angular bow tie symbol turns white, while an icon with the radio wave symbol loses its blue color and creates a slash across the symbol. You can put on airplane mode and control your individual connections as well. To connect to a home or public Wi-Fi network, 
Nico taps on a gray and black app embellished with nested mechanical gears. Open the settings app on your device. From the Wi-Fi menu, select the network you'd like to join. Enter the password and press join. You can press the blue button from the keyboard or join from the menu. Wait for the device to connect to the network. When you have successfully connected to the network, it will display a blue check mark. This check mark is also accompanied by the strength of the connection. You can view the strength of this connection here in the Wi-Fi menu and in the top corner next to the battery icon. If there are no Wi-Fi connections available at your location, you can also utilize a mobile hotspot if you have a device and cellular data plan with a mobile hotspot. This mobile hotspot will display similar to a normal Wi-Fi connection with a slightly different icon that looks like two links together instead of these bars. Joining a mobile hotspot is very similar to joining a Wi-Fi connection. Select the item and enter the password. When you are connected to a mobile hotspot, you are relying on that phone's connection to the data network. As an example, if that phone doesn't have great service at the time, you may experience this where it says low data mode. Your internet connection is only as fast as the parent device. If you are having trouble paying for your home internet or cellular data plan, please see affordableconnectivity.gov. This website explains and allows you to apply for the FCC's Affordable Connectivity Program. This government-funded program reduces your internet bill by $30 a month. This $30 a month coverage is correct at the time of recording this video in May of 2022. On this website, you can see if you qualify and you can apply. If your home is located on Hawaiian homelands, your benefit is $75 a month instead of $30 a month. If your home internet connection is having trouble, the first step that you will use to troubleshoot your connection is to turn the device off and on again. Most routers do not have an on or off button. To restart your router, unplug your device and leave it unplugged for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, plug the device back in and wait for all the lights on the front of the device to illuminate. If you still have internet connection issues, call your internet service provider directly. The Technical Literacy Training Series is available on YouTube with closed captioning, American Sign Language Interpreting, and Audio Captioning. Funded in part by the Pacific Basin Telehealth Resource Center, grant GAR 37468 from the Office of Advancement of Telehealth and Health Research and Services Administration. Christina Higa, Co-Director, Pacific Basin Telehealth Resource Center. Produced by Aloha Independent Living Hawaii, AILH. Roxanne Bowden, Executive Director, Aloha Independent Living Hawaii. Brian Hauser, Advocacy Coordinator and Teleconnect Project Lead, AILH. Nicole Flowers, Digital Literacy Trainer, AILH. Ray Gail Bowden, Media Assistant, Closed Captioning, Descriptive Audio Captioning, and Narration, AILH.
with assistance from the University of Hawaii Center on Disability Studies' Comprehensive Service Center for People Who Are Deaf, Hard of Hearing, or Deafblind, CSC, Rosalind Kia, Project Coordinator, CSC, Carrie Sarver, American Sign Language Interpreter, CSC. Recording and post-production by Olelo Community Media, Kekoa Graham, Production Services Manager, Darren Kamisato, Senior Editor, Scott Nordquist, Production Services Specialist, Chase Yamauchi, Editor, Alex Miyamoto, Media Education Specialist.